Going to come up as a pinch hitter for Austin Slater to try to get a Giants rally in the ninth inning started. Again, the 0-2 pitch. Swing. And a ball hit into right center field. Deep. Way back there. And adios, Pelota. What Gabe Kapler was hoping for has happened. His pinch hitter blasts a home run to tie this game. Wow. It is seven running. Kepler with two runners in scoring position and the twins down a run. Net gets away. Cave is coming home to tie the game. Slider is hammered into left field. This could be two. Mountcastle turns. Bishop comes up throwing a second. And the Orioles have the tying run to second on a laser of a double from Ryan Mountcastle. You talk about own time and own playing for this slider. He rifles it right down the left field line. Bishop quickly gets to it, but Mountcastle has got to get in the scoring position with two out, right? And he does easily. And a chance for DJ Stewart and the Orioles to tie this up. Mariners go into the overshift with France in shallow right. A one. There's a swing and a ground ball through the left side base hit. Mountcastle waved around third. Bishop comes up throwing to the plate. Save! Mountcastle beats it. Up to second, DJ. Single Taylor. Beatty gets hit. Gavin Lux gets a chance here. Lux kills the ball. Way back there. His biggest big league swing. A go ahead three run. Home run. That swing pumps some air into this building especially into that dugout. Dodgers have flipped the script as they have now taken the lead. Gavin Lux's first home run of the year. A three-run shot with two outs. Bottom of the ninth. 2-1 pitch. Broken back. That's going to get down. Coming around third. Bradley Zimmer will score. Naylor's into third. Bobby Bradley off the bench with a pinch hit, two out RBI single. 0 2. In the air, deep left. Are you kidding me? All the way to the wall, up the fence. Naylor scores. Bradley is home with the tying run. An 0 2 slider. And it just stayed right there. Down and in, he hits it off the wall. Thought it might have a chance to go out. But everybody off and running with two outs. It's going to tie the ball game. The Indians have a chance to walk it off now. One position. Chance now with two outs. Ground ball left side and through and to left. Here comes Phillips on a base hit through the open left side by Lau. And the Rays make it. A right side and through. That's a base hit. Eight to two. Second run. Eight to three. Still nobody out in the eighth inning. Okay. Let's see. Here's Bo Bichette. Now oh, it's it high and deep into left center. This one's going to go. Get out of here. Gone. Bo Bichette for that three run home run. He breaks the tie immediately. Nobody out. Well, here's the three one. Swung on and hit in the air to deep right. It is high. It is far. It is gone. It's a three run home run to deep right, right inside the pole by Ruggy O'Dor. The second Yankee three run home run of the night. And his hit streak to 24 games. First pitch swinging David Fletcher. This ball up the middle, backhanded by Watson. And David Fletcher is going to get another hit, an infield hit right back up the middle. Here's Jared Walsh now. He is hitless today. 0 for 3 has drawn a walk. Here's the next delivery. And Walsh swings and lines one into right. That's going to drop in for a base hit. The Angels are going to score a run on that one as coming in is Fletcher from second. And that's an RBI base hit for Jared Walsh. And the lead gets bigger. It's now 5-1 Angels. Bases are loaded with nobody out. Goslin swings and sends a fly ball out to center field. That should tag and score Otani. 6-1 Angels. And there's one that's chased and missed. The ball gets away from the catcher, Raleigh. He runs batted in, and he's 5 for 9 in the series. Fletch to left. Long is back off the wall. Two runs will score. Lagara scores. Mayfield behind him. 
David Fletcher, ladies and gentlemen. And the 1-1 one -one on the way, swung on and fluked into left. That'll be a base hit. Chapman has scored. Brown to third. They're going to hold him there. And the A's take a 3-1 lead. Laureano just kind of fights it off and dunks it into left field over the head of the shortstop Crawford. The bases remain loaded. Everybody moved up 90 feet. And the A's lead 3-1 in the eighth. So here's Olsen. And just one out. Bases loaded. Three to one. The pitch to Matt is swung on and drilled to right hander going back. He's there. He makes the catch. That'll score the run. Brown tags the score in the sack fly. And going from second to third is Kent.